best kept secret today is that our two main strikers are feeling less than 100 percent Gary Lineker awoke this morning with a chesty cough he's almost lost his voice in fact he's on antibiotics and Peter Beardsley today has the makings of a cold certainly an important night for Tottenham's Gary Mabbott his first cap for three years and now a vital job to do in Brian Robson's place holding firm in the midfield the Yugoslavs meanwhile are rebuilding their side after they failed to qualify for the Mexico World Cup Incidentally, three of their players are with French clubs this season. The Vojovic brothers, Zoran, the fullback, and Zlatko, the captain and striker, are identical twins. I can't think that that's happened very often at Wembley. While the number 10, Sliškovic, is just about the leading player in France at the moment with the league leaders, Marseille, and there's no doubt he's going to have a big influence in the midfield. Valjic, the fullback. They need to make something on the break all the time. Vojovic there. Oh, and he's got past Mark Wright. There's a great shard wall here for England, but Woods did well. And Wright then concedes the free kick. It was a bad mistake by the central defender in the first place that allowed Vojovic in. The height of Butcher. Right. And the England captain. Indeed is not. It's the number seven, Gary Mellett. Satisfied look on the bench as England go into the lead from the corner. Taken by Glenn Hoddle, and at the other end it's his Tottenham teammate with a magnificent leap. Sliskovic curling it and just going wide. who's lost very little in the air but he is scorer but he got speaking there does butcher scorer with a shot and a good save really only the second time that chris woods has been called into serious action twice he's done his job well this time from scorer going wide of the england defense pushing it wide Slishkovic with it for Yugoslavia curled out there and knocked off the line by Steve Hodge the header from Baljic and England close to losing a goal right on the half-time interval a wicked curling corner it was too and there's the header from the fullback and Steve Hodge getting it away I think what's equally clear is that England certainly are going to need the cushion of a second goal in this second half to breathe a little easier and to certainly make the burden of a visit to Belgrade next November a little more comforting well here's Waddle little chip back and Lineker almost in there well that was a great opening for England and Waddle certainly on that occasion played a full part in it whether he might have got a shot in himself but he certainly looked to get the ball across to Gary Lineker and now Sanson going in good start for the second half this for England Played back again for Hoddle. Crossed deep again towards the far post. And Lineker claims it was in, but the linesman and referee said no. Abbott now. Oh, what an amazing start for the second half. And indeed, in the opening of 60 seconds, Gary Lineker might have had two goals. The first time when it was pulled back by Chris Waddle. And then with this deep cross by Glenn Hoddle. And the keeper, a reaction save, keeping it out. He hasn't been taking these corners for Tottenham. David Fleet, the manager, here, Bobby Robson, feels that maybe not enough comes from them. But, well, an England goal has come from them already tonight. There's another good corner coming in. Been in good form tonight, Hoddle. Another delightful ball played in for Beersley. Played for Waddle. And a good cross from him this time. Then Hoddle and the shot. Well, almost 
number three. As Lineker looking always for that sort of trifle, almost got in. One all wins a corner for England. Well, certainly full marks for England now in the second half. Again, some delightful skills by Holloway. He really is in fine form tonight. Butchers, touch. Oh, and it might fall for the Yugoslavs. Bojevic. There's a chance here for Bojevic. Oh, and he's missed it. Well, England with sixes and sevens at the back. The flags go waving around as the Yugoslav hangs his head. Butchers, touch. Coming off Mabbott. Right back pedals, but Bojevic, the skipper, is in. Woods can't cover it. He hurdles over him. The goal is gaping, and it goes wide. Sanson again, won't come to Lineker. Slishkovic. It's a lovely weighted ball. Boyevic trying to chip the keeper. What a delightful ball, though, by the number 10, Slishkovic. Perfectly weighted there for his captain. Kadenitz. Oh, two England players colliding there. And the game goes on. Two England players are down. Jankovic puts it deep to the far side and it goes behind for the corner. And still two England players are down. One is Glenn Hoddle. And now at least the trainers can come on. That's a terrible crack there. Well, remember, only two substitutes are allowed. England have already made one bringing on Trevor Stephen. Hoddle's going off, and they've called for a stretcher. They've called for the stretcher for Steve Hodge. What an amazing action it was. Collision between two England players, and the England doctor there as well. And Bobby Robson looking at Hoddle's injury. Ray Wilkins there too. Well, Steve Hodge is going straight off to the dressing room. Hoddle is staying off the field. There are about eight minutes left, and there's a, quite a bit of injury time to be played, so it might well be at least ten minutes that England will have to play, at the moment it seems, with ten men. And Hoddle going off, so uh, Wilkins will come on as a substitute. So two have gone, one comes on, and England at the moment down to ten men, and Glenn Hoddle with quite a serious facial injury, and Steve Hodge having already gone off, and England now facing a corner, and suddenly a little bit of a crisis here. The ball curled in, and it's won't just go in. Charged away again. First to Mikhailic, and it looked as though the ball might be squeezed over the line. Elsner for Yugoslavia. Katanets. The pass is just not coming off for England at the moment, and here's Jankovic. And a chance now. Good save again by Woods. That time from Juric. Played in low. And Vojovic hitting the post. And England escape again. He could have had a hat-trick in the second half, two glaring misses, and then a little unlucky there with a good shot on the turn that bounces off the England post. Final whistle. A very important victory indeed for Bobby Robson's team. And hard work it was too. Foundations laid in the first half with Gary Mabbott's goal and a much better performance by England in the second half. And you won't see a better goal than the one that led up to the one for Viv Anderson where Hoddle played a part in it, Beardsley played a part in it, a superb cross by Waddle, pushed home by Viv Anderson. You won't find a better goal than that.